He's got an oat milk latte smoothie. I've got this breakfast. It's, by the way, guys, it's like four in the morning. Um, also got one of these. If you know, you know. Are you excited? Are you ready? I'm really excited. I'm really tired. Oh, look at Bee's top, everyone. It's so cute. Okay, ignore how rough I look, but we've just checked into the hotel. We're so excited. It's stunning. It's so stunning. It's the most beautiful hotel. Like, I just said to Kate, I feel like I'm in Princess Diaries when she goes to Genovia for the first time. It's literally amazing. <laughs> it's so good. So we've got this amazing, well actually we've got two separate rooms. And then look at the view. Oh my God. Oh, it's stunning. Wow, I don't think I've even told them while we're here. I don't oh. even know why. Well, I do. Um, so we're here on a press trip with Jaguar, which is so exciting because I've never worked with like a car brand before. And for the first one to be Jaguar, it's just insane. So feeling very, it's very surreal right now. Um, so we're here because they're launching a new car and we're here to like kind of test it out and like experience it. Kate is going to test it out. I cannot drive. <laughs> yeah, but so be... I'll be testing the passenger side. Yes, exactly. Um... And yeah, we're in the champagne region, so I think we're going to be doing lots of champagne and wine tasting, yeah. which is very up our street, so we can't wait for that. Darn it, I literally feel like I'm in a dream. <laughs> it's so nice. I'll give you guys a really quick room tour. So we've got the bed here. Oh, and look, they also left us this fruit. looks very good. And what is this? It looks like a big macaroon. Very nice. And then come through here. Quite a nice wait, big wardrobe. Is yours not in your room? I don't know, you can check. Don't check. And then, what, the shower. Um, oh my god, and as well, we've got Diptyque toiletries. This bath is like double the size of my bath at home. Oh my god, look, we've got loads of coffee. Oh, Bee's happy. Oh wow, we have loads of coffee. Okay, and then we go next door. I'm in London. Hello, I live here. Into my room. Do you know where that's from, Bob? No. Sex in the city. Oh. Um, yeah, look at my bath. Oh yeah, you've got a different bath. It's like a standalone. Yeah, actually your shower is nicer. Because you've got a sink. Yeah. Yeah. It's stunning though. Yeah. Oh yeah, my case is there. We've got to get ready it's together though. We can't get ready on our own. Yeah. Come to my humble abode. Well, I'm going to have a shower and stuff though, are you? Bea was just saying it really is the Princess Diaries wardrobe. Because look, you can pull this down if you're small. <laughs> the plan now is just to freshen up, get some makeup on, put an outfit on and go for lunch on the terrace. So guys, I've just finished doing my makeup. In fact, I had to do it twice because I did it first time in the bathroom and I went into the light and how bad was it be? <laughs> I had a moustache. I had a moustache. Um, I don't know what it was. I think it's just because I've got tan on my face and then too much foundation maybe. So I redid my makeup. It's looking better now. I'm doing my lips. So I'm going to use my NYX liner in the shade Leon. Actually, is this the shade Leon? Yeah, uh, that I always use. And then I forgot my favourite lipstick, which is the Bare Minerals one. So I went into Duty Free and um, I got a new one from Dior. So this is in the shade 100. And it looked pretty similar to my favourite one from Bare Minerals. So let's see. I'm so hungry. Yeah, same. Oh, it feels really nice. It's very creamy. Yeah, I think that's a really good colour. Do you like? Mmm. Yeah? I love that. That's very similar to the Bare Minerals one. That's it's really a little bit nice. more creamy and satiny though. The I Bare like Minerals. Like that, yeah, Bare Minerals is a bit more matte. Should I dice with my hair, do you think, Bob? I think I should. It's a bit flat. Mm. Okay. I don't know why I've just put that back in the box. Oh, did you put the dice in on way? I did. You
So we're about to go for lunch with the team. This is what I'm wearing. I've got this really lovely new look blouse on. Um, I wore this in, it was in St. Lucia and I absolutely love it. Um, and then I've got these trousers on which are from Reese. Really nice fit, they're a very good investment piece. My Celine belt, um, my Manolo shoes, Chanel handbag. Oh yeah, and B, yeah. we're matching. Come here. I sound like I'm talking to the bunnies. Come here. <laughs> Look, we're matching. Same but different. What's your outfit, Bob? Uh, Bershka trousers, Zara vest but flipped. Yeah, the little flip trick. Yeah, and, and then, then you... I'm wearing these slippers. I'm oh, really nice. Yeah, I don't know. Um... They go with the outfit. Yeah, I was kind of going for that like relaxed, vibe. relaxed vibe. Yeah, nice. While you're in your Manolos. Yeah. But why not? Nice. And then your jacket you bag. Yeah. Starting. It's going up to the terrace for lunch. Right, I'm going to stop now because I'm standing on my trousers. I've just arrived at this stunning terrace. Look at these views. So this is where we're going to be having lunch. He looks gorgeous. How pretty is this? So seeing as we're in the Champagne region, we obviously had to order two glasses of Blanc de Blanc and a wasp. We also ordered a wasp. Excuse me, can you go away? Anyway, cheers B. Hey, it's blue in your hand. Oh, it's on my hand. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. That looks so good. We finished up lunch. It was so nice, wasn't it? We met the team. So I think now we're going to go take some photos quickly and then um, go for a little drive. Yeah, this is my winery. <laughs> I make all my champagne. Wow. Um, straight from the, the vineyard to my mouth. Look at all those grapes. Look at all those chickens. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy girl. We've started driving, it's a little bit scary. So we're driving the new Jaguar, what is it, F-Pace? Limited edition, 1988. And so it's inspired by a racing car that won on track in 1988, and it was gold and purple, which is what this car is. So there's really beautiful interiors. Um, it's got like a champagne gold. It's actually stunning. So I can't believe they've just let me drive this in a foreign country. So I'm, re I'm a bit confused as well because I've driven on the other side of the road before in Ibiza, but it was a um, Spanish car. This car is English, so the wheel is on the opposite side of the road, whereas normal, normally the wheel is in the middle of the road. So it's a bit confusing because you're like doubly confused. Does that make sense? Um, I don't know because I don't drive. <laughs> but I'm on my own here, guys. The seats are um, oh. air-conned. Stop it. Can you not feel the breeze? Oh, yeah. This is so cool. Oh, this is so nice to drive. Is it? Oh, it's lovely. Can you not feel how smooth this is? Yeah, I can. So we're currently driving to like this vintage um, track. Like a race track. Yes. It looks really cool. It's like 60s Bad, like, retro vibes. Yeah, good for pics. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's combine our money, buy a chateau mm -hmm. with a vineyard. Yeah. Have loads of horses. Yeah, and... you can teach me how to ride because I'd actually love to gallop through the vineyard. Oh yeah, let's do it. I'd love like on parent trap. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'd love to do that. I feel like you mentioned parent trap in every single one of my videos. <laughs> yeah. Well, no. When was the last time? Being in the passenger seat with you is one of my favourite places to Aww, be. Oh, that's so cute. I know. Well. <laughs> No, it's just really nice. It's just really like, it's like a little safe space. Yeah, we have our little, our little chats. And... Yeah, I feel like we've solved a lot of problems in this. Oh, we have. In this position, yeah. Well, I'm gonna try out all the settings on the seat. Yeah, give us a full rundown. Right, it goes quite far back. A little nap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could have a nap actually. Okay, coming back up. Round, around, around. Sorry, that was not the time to be playing around with my chair. <laughs> you enjoy yourself, Bob. Do you know what? I really am. I know you are. Oh! <laughs> I told you guys that was powerful. Here she is. Are you on? Driving through the cornfields. Oh, it is really pretty though. It's so beautiful. Looks like that other movie. Yeah. We are witnessing our first tractor encounter. It's all good. You're miles away from him. You can go. Thank you, mister. 
So we've just arrived at this like vintage kind of like racetrack area. And look how cool it is. Like it's super old. Oh. So this is what I'm driving. This is how it looks on the outside. How insane. Also this color, what I love about it, it's obviously purple, but it's very subtle. It almost looks black. So we're just getting a tour of the Moet. What do you call it? The Moet? I want to say headquarters. Yeah. yeah, but there's like a whole building. The Moet House, that's I think what they called um, it. No, it's a, um, like a brewery, but for wine. This is the Moet et Chandon House. Ah, okay. okay. So we just found out that you pronounce it Moet and not Moet because the owners are Dutch and French. So that's an interesting fact for you guys. Yeah. Oh, look at the little cute garden. So yeah, we're going to have a little tour of the cellar and then we're going to have a wine tasting. So, wine tasting, champagne. So we're going into the cellars. Wow, it really smells like a cellar as well. Isn't it? Smells like what? Bats. Bats? Yeah. So apparently the barrel at the end there is a gift from Napoleon, how bougie is that? And then all of these champagne bottles, I think that's like, how many is there? 20,000, wow, 20,000 bottles here. How crazy is that? And they put them here individually, hand by hand. Apparently it takes like 15 days. <laughs> Can you imagine having that as a job? Me, do you fancy a new job as a wine place, as a champagne Can you imagine? I would drop every single bottle. Yeah, nearly just fell into a entire 10,000 pile of champagne. <laughs> Now we're just going for some tasting in the garden. How beautiful is this? You're not going to be sad. We want you to be safe to go to the restaurant. Selection also. Let's finish up the champagne tasting. How good was it, V? It was so good. Um, obviously, they don't have a, like a array of champagnes to show us because there's only one. Well, there's a, a couple like different like they have like a vintage vintages. moet and then. Your, like standard moment yeah. that we have all the time but it was so nice um i obviously had to be careful because i'm driving um but i cannot wait to have a bottle when we're back in the room yeah they've taken like bottles back to the hotel yeah so we're gonna have some dinner yeah um it's actually so interesting though i was just saying to be like when you understand where things come from and how it's made and like the process you have such a better appreciation for it and i feel yeah. like they taste better even though it tastes the same i'm like no this tastes way better i mean like she was like going through it and stuff which kind of makes you be like, okay, oh, smell that. And she was like, oh. had the quickest turnaround of all time. I think I got ready in about two minutes. Um, I just got ready for dinner. This is my outfit. This dress is a little piece from Oasis and it fits like an absolute dream. I, yeah, I love it. And it's um, very inexpensive as well. So I'll have this look down below. Um, paired with my Chanel bag and YSL heels. These dresses from H&M, is that right? Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, you're yeah. Very very fine. Fine. Yeah. Um, you just start you have a first appetizer. You can begin on both sides you have buttery chips with a jelly of lemon. Then in front of you cookie with avocado tartar and espalette chili pepper.
morning guys we've just ordered breakfast to the room we've got pancakes bread croissants avocado on toast poached eggs scrambled eggs and we're gonna enjoy this um straight in the balcony bob yeah are heading to the pool quick dip quick dip quick bit of um sunshine yeah we've only got half an hour so yeah we haven't got in and out in and out guys this bikini is from new look i absolutely love it i feel like it looks very kind of zimmerman designer vibe yeah the fit as well it's insane it's very like supportive and it kind of pushes your boobs up a bit hello guys we have had such a long journey yeah. <laughs> it's been a lot um yeah. the airports at the moment are honestly just chaos Crazy. like paris airport the queue for security how long did that take us like an hour and a half maybe yeah i want to say like two hours but um <laughs> And then um, just everything, the longest queue for the most crazy things. An airport, the airport, and then Heathrow was also crazy. Then there was an arrest on our plane, so then that gave us delays. So, yeah. We're two tired girls, but we are on our way home in the most stunning Range Rover. Yeah, it's beautiful. Look at these cream interiors. Very, very nice. Um, so, yeah, we've been very spoiled on this trip. We have. We really have, I feel like I'm in a dream. Mm. Yes, I'll see you guys when we're home. I can't wait to see the bunnies. I know. So excited. Hello guys, we are now home. I'm not gonna lie, it's about four days later. Um, the week just flew by, didn't it? Yeah, it felt like a really weird week because it was right in the middle, it was Tuesday and Wednesday, so. Yeah, it was bang in the middle. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's now Sunday, so it's our play day. B and I are off to get some Sunday brunch. Look at the colour difference between us. <laughs> Um, yeah, we're gonna go get some Sunday brunch and have a wholesome little day. Yeah, it's such a nice weather today. It's such a nice weather today. <laughs> I was gonna say it's such a nice day and then I said it's such a nice weather. Here's my outfit of the day. I've got a Zara bodysuit on. These trousers are the pretty little thing ones that I've had for about four or five years now. And they're still in such good condition. I absolutely, absolutely love them. And the best thing is they still sell them. So I will link them down below. I've just got these little Amazon fashion sliders on. Smoothies just arrived. What's in them? I can't even remember. Oh my god, they're really nice. Are they? Well, taste it. So nice. <laughs> okay, food has come. I've got halloumi, avocado, and scrambled egg. Kate has. What do you have? Like Benedict with greens and avocado. And now we're okay. Got some Mr. Muscle and some of these. Just looking at the cleaning products. A new flavour that we haven't had before. Yeah, it smells a bit like sun cream, but it's quite mm. nice. We were talking quite a about summary. how bad we feel about, um, like, when we were younger we had hamsters, and every time I think about it, my heart sinks to my stomach. I feel so bad about owning a hamster. Because, like, they just didn't. They just, the yeah, they had a really bad quality Did you have of two life. Or one? I had one. Yeah, I had one. They had no friends or anything. Oh, no, it makes me want to cry. It's so awful. Oh, can you hamsters should anymore? be yeah. Hamsters should be banned as pets, to be honest, unless they have like a huge cage. We need some news of flora. Should get linen fresh. Yeah, that's my favourite one. Big one. Yeah, for the washing. Yeah, I'm gonna get one of these just because it looks quite fun. Got some new whitening stuff. Yeah, was that the extra fresh one? Yes, it is. So, really exciting me, I've got a massive bin oh, for, well I'll show you guys when I get home, we're going to do a little DIY for the bunny, for the bunnies. It's, it's a bit dirty, but it's fine, it's just a bin. Yeah, I need some sandpaper for the DIY. Okay guys, so this is my plan for the bunnies, right? With their hay, I always have to put fresh hay down because basically with bunnies, they poo and eat at the same time. So this is a little litter tray that they use. 
and I'm thinking if I cut a little hole here they can take out fresh hay and I don't have to replace it all the time um so yeah this is my little DIY project for the afternoon don't know how it's gonna go but also I don't know if I have to put the tray in here or do I have the tray bin even Ugh. I have the bin outside the box and have a little hole here. I think it makes more sense for it to be inside the box. Definitely, the first option. Okay, right, let's do this. Okay, so I've marked it out of tape and then I'm gonna cut with the scalpel a little hole. Hey, Polina! Okay, so I've successfully made a hole. Now I'm just going to sand it down and then like secure it so the bunnies don't hurt themselves. Okay guys, so I think we've had a big success. It's working really well. We just filled it right to the top full of hay. So now they can eat away, it stays nice and fresh and you don't have to refill it all day. Are you enjoying it Pippi? Do you love it? Do you love it? Oh yes you do. And then we've also just deep cleaned the entire balcony. It took us about an hour or so. But look how nice it looks. It's just drying in the sun at the moment. Now we are treating ourselves to a Krispy Kreme um, for all of our hard work. Look at them. They're loving it. Is that really nice Opal? Oh my little squidgy bum. My little squidgy bum. <laughs> Anyone else just call their pets the weirdest names? At the moment their names are um, Moomin Trolls. You little Moomin Troll? Yeah. Aww. Okay guys, so I know I need to actually edit and upload this video. So in order to do that, I'm going to end it here. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. And thank you so much to B for being in the video. We all love it when you're in the videos. Um, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Mwah. <laughs> I didn't say I love you so, so, so much. I love you so, so, so much. Bye. Mwah.